Here I'm looking at the course program and introducing learning outcomes, but I've learned to make it more interactive. For example, starting with a course learning outcome, I can look and see where that course learning outcome goes to. This is MS-150 course learning outcome number one. It flows into general education outcome 3.1 and then feeds into institutional learning outcome 8.8, .8, quantitative reasoning. So I can see where an outcome goes to. And I can do that for any of these outcomes to see what other, what it's feeding into and where that number is flowing into. So I can see that this outcome is flowing through general education outcome 3.5, experimental sciences, and into institutional outcome 8.4 here. I can also, after resetting action on this table, take a look at what where my courses are flowing. For example, I can see SE130 feeds three general education learning outcomes and three of the institutional learning outcomes from here. We can do the same here. I can see that MS150 feeds that single quantitative reasoning one. Resetting action on that table, I can go and, and, and uh, go to the program student learning outcomes, and this could be done by a group of faculty sitting around the table. Suppose I want to know what's coming into general education outcome 3.3. Well, I can see here that it's coming through from MS150. Note this table will continue to list all of the underlying course learning outcomes. And this is where it's going to. And so I can do this at any particular level. I can say, OK, I want to know about 8.4. Well, that's coming from SC130 only, uh, Institutional Outcome Learning 4. Institutional Outcome Learning 2, also from SC130. So Institutional Learning Outcome 8 is the only one being fed by both of these courses. And below, you can see a, a chart which you can drill down to take a look at some of the underlying uh, metrics and numbers for. But that said, it's uh, uh, a bit of a look at some of the interactivity that's possible with these sorts of things. I have to, uh, well, I can sort these, of course, but I'm resetting the action to come back. I'm going to output them in, back in order. But you can sort them to look for areas of concern or less concern, uh, depending on what you want to look at all interactive, all usable by faculty sitting on a table and can be explored.